Hello and welcome to our little Photoshop tutorial on the very basics. Um, first off, since this is the desktop on my laptop, you can ignore all of this stuff over here to the right. I'm clearly a little unorganized at the moment. Um, I'm going to open Photoshop and go ahead and get a picture and we're going to work on cropping and rotating it. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcuts since you know that I love those. Command space to open spotlight start to type in Photoshop and open that. Um, I could go up to the file menu and click open or just hit command O. Coming over here to the digital SD card that I have in the camera, work my way over. Earlier this afternoon I took a couple pictures of paintings that I did for my sister's birthday. Um, they're way down here on the memory card so I had to scroll down quite a ways. Uh, you can see that Photoshop will allow me to open pictures because they are not grayed out like the movie files are, which I cannot click on. Uh, I'm just going to do one photograph today. This is my niece. Go ahead and hit return or click on OK. This is Naomi Grace Stoner. Yes, I'm related to a bunch of stoners. Anyway, um, if you look in the upper left hand corner of the painting, you can see that I have a circle. Over here on the far left of the screen, there are several different tools that I could choose from. Right now it happens to be on the clone stamp. What I really want is this little doohickey up here called the crop tool. Um, I just happen to know that the letter C on the keyboard will allow me to select the crop tool. So I'm going to go ahead and press C and you'll see that that circle changes to uh, almost like a crosshairs kind of a thing. So I normally start at the upper left hand corner. You can start at whichever corner you want. I'm going to click the mouse and drag. I uh, got pretty lucky on this one. Um, you know, I tried to take my time, but you can see that it lines up almost perfectly perpendicular and parallel with the edges. Um, if I accidentally was dragging it over and I made a mistake like that, just hitting the escape key is going to get rid of that. Seeing that one more time, it's going to get rid of that. So starting back here in the upper left hand corner, you almost always need to adjust a few things here and there. Um, I can see that, you know, I'm going to get rid of a sliver up here on the upper right hand corner and I might need to drag some of this in over here. This is really just a photo for my personal purposes, so I have a record of it after I give it to my sister. But still, presentation matters and you never know when you'll need another copy. So just clicking or hitting the return key after that will give you what you want. This is what it looks like on a neutral gray background. Looks pretty good, um, although she's sideways. So coming up to the image button up here along the, the, the menu up at the top of the screen, come down to image rotation. 180 degrees clearly isn't going to give me what I want. CW stands for clockwise, CCW stands for counterclockwise. Um, clearly I need a clockwise rotation on this. Um, I'm going to get rid of uh, the menus on the side so that we're not um, seeing those in the way. I can zoom out by hitting command and the minus sign to see the whole thing. If I want to zoom way in, what I love about this is that you can really still pick up the texture of the canvas and the paint and the brush strokes. It's all nice and clearly in focus. Um, don't mean to pat myself on the back too much, but the photograph is looking pretty good. Bringing those back, now I'm ready to save the image. I don't just want to save it though. I want to save as. So while again I could click on the file menu, come down here to save as, all these things that are listed over here are the keyboard shortcuts. This little arrow stands for the shift key. This little clover leaf stands for the command key. And this S stands for S. So command shift S, save as. The file name is highlighted IMG underscore 6241. I'm just going to call this Naomi Grace Stoner Painting. I don't want to save it on the memory card. What I want to do is go into my desktop. You know, as you saw earlier, I have a bunch of folders, photography, and I just happen to know that I have a folder for Wyatt and Naomi, my niece and nephew. Um, I have pictures in there. I might as well have this painting in there. I might choose 
to save it someplace else later, but I can always copy and paste that then. Uh, clicked OK, I'll hit return or click OK once I know that the quality is the highest JPEG quality that I can get, and I'll be ready to go. I can close the image, and that file will be waiting for me there in the folder to either save to a memory stick, upload to the internet in some way, or just email to myself. And that's all she wrote.